our own community. So I think it's such a, a sustainable way to, to touch our own people. I'm a girl, I'm a woman. I know that the pains of you know menstruation and what that brings. And mental health is not so far from it. So I think it's been brilliant. I'm excited to see what next year brings. But this year has left me smiling, has left me hopeful that there's people willing to you know, do amazing things with fashion. Different skills, painting, screen printing, sewing, making reusable parts, English language. Uh, so, many community which is saying users it are going to learn English for free. And Mestro Talks. And now, I think the addition is one of the designers has offered to be a short course in fashion and design for eight months. Uh, so, what's the station? Thank you. I hope you had a little bit. You paid to be part of the show, and maybe because you're interested in fashion, or sexual reproductive health, or girls, or you would just be passing by and hard with us. But I'm excited that you're here. And uh, the crew back there is our video ready. I hope that you know that the ticket that you have bought, for it is a bit too humble to talk about how this is mostly scrapping to make this happen. And with such limited funding, it's an amazing station and, and it's until last year that I realized that I'm so privileged that every month I don't think about tampons and, and you know you walk to the store and you get those uh, and when you want to do a donation you go to the north and do a donation because you know maybe it's needed up north but Kisemi right next door when I walk or right next door to my heart could be a place that I could actually you know be relevant. Um, so this, this menstrual station is saying it really inspires me and the goal is to replicate this. If you are a moderator, you are a nightway, whose goal is to really tell your story through fashion. And in case you're really impressed with my dress, she made that too. The theme of her collection is outside way building a confident woman. And uh, really calling us to empathize with mental illness and people in our society that are struggling with it because I think like the therapist said, we all go through that journey. So uh, join me to welcome ITC Fashion with the movie collection. Ta-ta-da! So you can all quite stare at it when you eventually come out. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so really curious from your context, what do you feel like is missing in the mental health space? I think um, not only encouraging vulnerability, but also modeling that and allowing space for people to see that in you and to be comfortable and um, talking about those things um, with you. And, Thank you. Vulnerability. Anyone care to kind of unload what vulnerability means? It's really so much to be standing here and no one raises their hand. So you could just like save me my social anxiety and see if you're thinking. I think that's being unable to do some things on your own so that it makes you vulnerable. Anyone else have a different opinion of what vulnerability means and what it means to really bring that into our spaces? Um, somebody is like really rescuing me. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, so many kind people. I was still thinking about it. Same space. Exactly. So I think. I think I define vulnerability as deliberately putting yourself out there not knowing if you're going to be safe or not. But hopefully you will be in a safe space, so that's what I think. Deliberately putting yourself out there, um, whether you accept it or not. And how many women uh, have felt like being vulnerable is attached to your gender because you know, women are feeling in their emotions and that has made you want to